contract sounds deceptively simple. Two people just have to agree to do something and each receive some benefit regardless of how small. The ease in making a contract might make you think that there should be few disputes over what contracts mean, but that's not the case. A contract only exists when the parties agree to all the important terms or have a meeting of the minds. So if one person understands the contract one way and the other thinks it means something else, there's likely no contract. Sounds weird, right? But it happens. A client wanted to buy a charter airplane. It hired a company to do a pre-purchase inspection. The two businesses entered into a verbal agreement for the work. Based on the pre-purchase inspection report, the company bought the airplane. But when it tried to get charter certification, the FAA rejected the application and said the plane needed a bunch of very expensive repairs to qualify for the charter. The company then sued, saying the other business was negligent in its pre-purchase inspection. Even though a pre-purchase inspection had been performed and paid for, the court found that there was no agreement because the parties each meant something different by pre-purchase inspection. The company ended up getting the money it paid for the inspection back, but still owning a plane in need of very expensive repairs before it could be used as intended. Having a written contract that specifies what each party is supposed to do reduces the risk of litigation and of not getting what you thought you'd agreed to. Subscribe to get my latest tips and find more information at my website. I'm attorney Nancy Green, and I'm here to help you avoid the legal landmines that could blow up your business. Just when you thought I was finished, here's the legal mumbo-jumbo.